Morning. This is American Isis. This is Big Les. This is Monday, the 25th of August, 2017. Is this is what that you wanted a terrorist to look like? Well, too bad, because American Isis is not a terrorist organization. We're an information society, and this is what we look like. <laughs> uh, today, I'm going to talk about the 50,000 products in six different stores I went to and found only seven products out of 50,000 products that did not contain sugar or high fructose corn syrup. The Food and Drug Administration allows high fructose corn syrup to be renamed now as fructose. But it's the same thing. Uh, this leads to 80% of America is fat and overweight and 77% has diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. It started from the Monsanto Corporation in the early 1900s. They created chemicals and pesticides. They're most famous for creating Agent Orange in Vietnam that infected over 50,000 Americans. And the American government allowed them to spray food crops to prevent, to prevent food loss with pesticides in the 1970s and 1980s. They went further on to create fake food additives and use them in alternating feed for cattle and pigs and chickens to get them fatter to sell them at a higher price. I remember working at a slaughterhouse in Michigan, we use Michigan bean cherries and bones to grind into the ground beef to sell it more per pound. The Monsanto Corporation and their pesticides are in bed with the federal government because the Food and Drug Administration nor the USDA would approve them and approve their tactics and their chemicals without being associated with them. Come on, don't don't be naive, don't be stupid. Well, my thing is this. They, on purpose, created these products to make us fat and make us sick so they can profit off of it in the medical industry and in the pharmaceutical companies. All these people are in bed together. They are in it for the green. They made their own people sick in order to make a buck. It's fucking ridiculous. Let me tell you something. A month ago, uh, a month ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And I said to myself, all these years, I've been preaching to eat healthier to other people. And, uh, Everybody was like, uh, they looked at me and they they like, I thought you were like 32 years old. I said, no, I'm in my 40s. I'm in my late 40s. And they were like, wow, oh, that's because I don't eat junk food. I don't eat red meat. I drink water. I stay away from soda. And still diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. And I was like, How? Hidden sugars, hidden sugars in syrup, high fructose corn syrup, it's in ketchup, it's in mustard, it's in sweet pickle relish, it's in juice drinks, it's in yogurt, it's in cheese, it's in crackers, it's in oatmeal, it's in breads. I'm like, are you kidding me? Just think. Here you are eating sugar and syrup all day. All day you're consuming sugar from the time you get up on breakfast to the time you go to bed. And then you add more sugar when you're eating a dessert or having a soda. One 12 ounce soda contains one teaspoon per ounce. That's 12 teaspoons of sugar in a 12 ounce can of soda. 
And this guy at my job used to come and get a Mountain Dew, a 32-ounce Mountain Dew, at 10 a.m., at lunch at 12, at 2 p.m. on his break. And then he have another one at 4 p.m. when he's getting off of work going home. Every day, five days a week. Just add that up. That's what? Uh, four times 32. Uh, four and two is eight. Uh, carried one. 132 teaspoons of sugar a day, five days a week. And then his co-worker used to come there and eat. And she said, you notice I stopped coming here. And she did. She stopped coming around four months. And she said she lost over 50 pounds by not eating here. And it's not the calories. It's the starch and the sugar. Starch turns into sugar. So if you're eating sugar flat out with soda and you're eating starch with breads and 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 taco flours and and taco shells and burritos and chips you're eating starch that turns into sugar so but I, I went on the shelves and I picked out cereal regular cereal just cornflakes sugar I said what my bread high fructose corn syrup I'm fine so let me get one of these stoner sandwiches that I used to eat when I used to get high one slice of bread, that's syrup. Then you add a protein, a piece of bologna. Then you add a fat, Miracle Whip. Then you add some chips, <laughs> starch. Then you add a chocolate chip cookie, sugar. Then you add in ketchup, sugar, mustard, salt, and sodium. Then you add pickle relish, sugar, and salt. Then you're adding another piece of syrup. Oh, I forgot the cheese. Then you're adding the processed cheese food, which carries GMOs and Mario Sodium Glumate MSG. <laughs> I almost couldn't get it out. And just think, that was just one stoner sandwich to go with my bag of chips. Or going to the movie theater with uh, some chips and and a half of sub sandwich. Uh, it was just, and then wash it all down with 32 ounces of soda, which is 32 teaspoons of sugar. Yeah, I was doomed. Even, even healthy I was doomed. I cut all that out. Cranberry juice and stuff like that. And it was still contained sugar. Juicy juice. I was like, this is 100% fruit juice. Yeah, but you took the fiber out of the fruit. So you're drinking 100% sugar. Fructose. Dang. But all this was created to make us sick. To go to the doctor's office. And get prescriptions and and heavy bills at the house and just add it on to our suffering. All right, well, this is part one of high fructose corn syrup <laughs> and how it led to diabetes, heart disease, and making you fat. I'll be back with part two later today. I'm out.